Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my zombie videos. Today, we'll be going over how to get the wonder weapon in all four of its different elements. Now, let's begin. So the first step is to go down into the bunker and turn on the power. Once you do that, you'll need to get the free wonder weapon. If you know how to do this already, go skip ahead. The timestamp will be in the description below. For the next step, you'll need to enter the portal. Once you enter, there will be three parts that you need to collect around the map. When doing this, you need to be careful because as soon as you pick up a part, several dogs will spawn at your location. If you go to any of these locations and the part is not there, that means you need to go to another location as they spawn in a random order. So the first location is in the bunker behind pack a punch Once you pick up a part, quickly move on to the next location as your time in the portals are limited. If you are struggling to get away from the dogs, you have time to kill them. The second location is in the craft site on top of one of the planes. Go ahead and grab that, and let's go to the final location. The third and final location is in the spawn area underneath some stairs. Once you grab the third part, you will then be teleported out of the ether. Once you have grabbed all three parts and have teleported out of the ether, go back down into the bunker into the crafting table. Here you'll need to craft the ether scope. Don't forget to pick it up after you finish crafting it. Once you have crafted the ether scope, you'll need to go to into the med bay where speed coal is located and enter another portal. Once in the portal, run to the computer and to the right of it, there will be a book. Grab that book and give it to three different spirits that are scattered around the bunker. The first spirit will be here located behind speed cola. Remember when doing this, you need to activate the spirit's body to show up and then you are able to hand them the book. Now let's head over to the control room where you can buy the challenges. To the right of it will be the spirit. Activate it and give the book to them. The third and final spirit location will be right in front of the crafting table below pack a punch. As soon as the spirit has grabbed the book, you should be teleported out again. Once you are out of the portal, you're going to want to head over to the computer where you grab the book. Here you'll interact with it to enter a password which is just to the right. Once you have entered the password, you're good to begin the steps to upgrade to the four different elements for the wonder weapon. Okay, now that we have all the prerequisites to get all four upgrades, let's go ahead and get the free wonder weapon. You will need to wait for a megaton to spawn in order to do this. After the dog round, one should appear. I recommend using a shotgun to take down the boss if you do not have the ray gun yet. Note that if you get an instant kill, you do massive damage to the boss. Once a Megaton dies, it will split into two more bosses. Kill these ASAP as they are super annoying and strong. Once you kill the final one, it will drop a key card. Pick up that key card and now head down to the weapons lab in the bunker. Once you're in the lab, there will be a weapons locker with a flashing red light. Insert the key card there and the remote control will come out. Then you're going to want to head to the bottom floor of Nocturne Toten, otherwise known as the living room in the top left corner of your screen. There, you will find a place to turn on the machine. You will need to train zombies in front of the door for it to absorb them. If you do not get enough the first time around, don't worry, as you can do this as many times as you need. Note that this does not work on the dogs. Once this has collected enough zombies, you can interact at the same spot to break down the door that's there. Inside is your free wonder weapon. Now that we have the wonder weapon, we can finally begin the steps to upgrade it. There is no specific order in doing this. The first one we'll do is the ice upgrade, otherwise known as the cryometer. The first thing you're going to do is when the megaton first spawns in, you're going to want to have him come to the swamp area and shoot the fungi that's on the tree. One shot, it'll turn purple and a dialogue will pop up. Next, you're going to want to go to the top of Mtotwin and fire the one weapon at this box. Now that you have shot down the box, run to the pond and pick up the empty flask. Once you grab it, go ahead and place it below the purple fungus. You will need to wait for the flask to fill up before grabbing it again. Once the flask is filled up, go ahead and grab it and head down to the med bay in the bunker. There, you will use the item to freeze the chains off the box to get the ice upgrade. Okay, now let's get the poison upgrade called the Nova 5. First, you're going to want to go to this location on top of Toten and use the wonder weapon to pull the part towards you. In order for this to work, you're going to need to make sure the weapon does not have max ammo. Once you have collected the part, you're going to need to start heading to the weapons lab in the bunker. Jump down and go to the right of Deadshot and insert the canister. Once the part is inserted, you'll need to kill a dog next to it for the gas to be absorbed. Once the canister is filled, pick it up 
and head to the airplane crash site. There, you can place the canister on top of the box and shoot it to get rid of the vines. Okay, now on to the fire upgrade called the Thermophasic. This one is extremely straightforward. You're going to need to enter the portal and head to the plane crash site. There will be a part of a plane floating. Go underneath it and shoot this box. One shot, it will open up and you can grab the part. Once you grab the part, you will need to quickly head to the weapons lab. There, across from Deadshot, will be a laser cutting machine. Interact with that to cut the box open. Once you do this, you will be immediately kicked out of the portal. Now, you can head to the pond and grab the fire upgrade. Okay, let's get the fourth and final elemental upgrade, Lightning, which is my personal favorite, the Electric Bolt. The first thing you'll need to do is head to the Pack-a-Punch room and enter the portal. There will be three locations you need to go to. At these locations, you need to use the Wonder Weapon to gather energy. Note that you can only gather one at a time. First location is to the left of Juggernaut in the crash site. Second location is in the back of the pond to the right of the tunnel. The third location is on top of Toten to the right of Wonder Fizz. After gathering one of the energy crystals, you will need to run back down to Pack-a-Punch and shoot this box. You will need to repeat this step for each of the crystals you absorb totaling three times. If you can't do this in one go, you can wait for the portal to spawn back and you can continue where you left off. Also, if you have the third shot as you leave the portal, you can still shoot the box like I just did. This is the final step to get an enlightening upgrade. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped. If you guys can drop a like, comment, and subscribe, that would help my channel tremendously. Thanks again, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.